Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shamsa Fazal from Shawar Model Schools. Dear students, hope you all are fine. Today with topic I am going to explain. It is taken from your computer course of grade 6. Dear students, today our topic is MS Excel and its interface and our objective is students will be able to learn about MS Excel and its interface. Before going to start our topic, let's have a look on previous knowledge. What is MS Excel? Excel is a computer program used to create electronic spreadsheets. Dear students, do you know what? Spreadsheet is an electronic document in which data is arranged in the row and columns of a grid and used in calculations. Dear students, with an Excel, user can organize data, create charts, and perform calculations. Excel is a convenient program because it allows the user to create large spreadsheets, reference information from other spreadsheets, and it allows for better storage and modification of information. And Excel operates like other Microsoft Office programs and has many of the same functions and shortcuts of other Microsoft programs. Now, let's see how to open Microsoft Excel on your computer. To open Microsoft Excel on your computer, you have to follow some steps which are following. Now, dear students, first you will click on Windows button which is on left bottom corner of Windows taskbar. Here it is. Click on it. Now you will scroll down to letter E to find Excel in Start menu. So here it is. After that you will click the Excel menu item to open an Excel it takes you to the MS Excel window which looks like this. So this is the interface of Microsoft Excel 2019. Now let's discuss its components. So let's start from the title bar. Dear students, this is the title bar. Title bar displays the name of the application which is Excel and the name of spreadsheet. So the name of the spreadsheet is book 1. So on the left corner of title bar, we have quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar is used to hold commonly used commands. Quick access toolbar is always visible regardless of which tab is selected. By default the quick access toolbar contains save, undo and redo buttons. So the quick access toolbar is customizable so that we can add commonly used commands there. For example just I'm going to add one new command here that is open. So just see here we have a new command which is open. So dear students on the right corner of title bar we have closed button. This is closed button. This is restore down or we also call is maximize button. This is minimize button and this is the new option which is available in Microsoft Excel 2019 so this option is called as ribbons option ribbon option so here we have three different options now first option is auto hide ribbon you will click this option to hide the whole ribbon now second option is show tabs you will click this option to show the tabs only. Now after that third option is show the tabs and commands. You will click this option to show the tabs and commands on screen. 
Dear students, below the title bar, we have ribbon. So, they are ribbon tabs, file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, help and tell me what you want to do. All these are ribbon tabs and below these ribbon tabs, we have different commands just like here we have home tab and the commands of home tab are clipboard, font, alignment, number, style, cells and editing. So Excel ribbon is grouped into different tabs based on the category of their functionalities. Now dear students, below the ribbon we have Excel formula bar. Excel formula bar have three components. They are the first component of formula bar is cell name box. Second component is formula bar buttons and the third component is cell contents. Now let's discuss the status bar. So we have got some important stuff that potentially show up there as in when you work with data in AXU we will talk about various features that show up and things that you activate inside the status bar. If you go on the way to the right, you will see there are some sudden layouts. So I am in something called as normal layout. So this is normal layout. Then if you click on second button, you can go to the page layout like this. And similarly, that is a page break preview as well. So all these three views are also available under the view tab. If you will click on the view tab, you will see these layouts like normal page break preview and page layout as well. So at the right corner, you will find a tool for zoom. So you can either zoom in or you can zoom out. And apart from that, you have this middle area over here with rows and columns. Now, this is the area where you actually work with your data and you can do many calculations and data manipulations over here. And this is called the workbook and this particular sheet is called worksheet. So, this is sheet number 1 and you can keep on adding further sheets here which can contain different data like this. You can add further sheets. So, each column in Excel worksheet is identified by using letters. It starts from A and up to so on. And each row in Excel worksheet is identified by using numbers. It starts from 1 and up to so on. So dear students, today we learn about MS Excel. Excel is a computer program used to create electronic spreadsheets. With an Excel, user can organize data, create charts and perform calculations. And we also learn about different components of Excel workbook user interface. So, take care of yourself. Stay home. Stay safe.